Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company. Today we're taking a look at our 2013 Ram 5500 Utility Service Crane Truck. This truck has a maintainer H6520 hydraulic crane. It's a 6,500 pound capacity crane. It's got a Van Air I300, it's a diesel generator, welder, air compressor, jump starter, and it also does power the crane. Very low hours on this truck. Overall, very low use. Came out of a case dealer, bought it right from them. It's a one owner truck. Truck itself's got 236 on the miles. It's got a Cummins turbo diesel, starts right up. Sounds great, you can hear that now. Got an automatic transmission, so it does have some miles, but it has very low hours on the engine and on the system, Van Air system. So the Van Air powers the crane, so you don't have to let your truck idle and run while you're operating your crane. So it keeps the idle hours low, keeps the overall hours low on the truck. So that's why these hours are very low on this truck, mostly just drive hours. I think it's just got under 200 idle hours. It's almost unbelievable, but uh, just a very, very nice truck when it came in. All we did was paint up a couple uh, areas on the body where it had just some light surface rust. But the truck overall, when I bought it, was just in really, really nice condition. Uh, and it was just a nice truck that we didn't have to do a whole lot to. So that's good. Anytime we can do that, we're doing something good. So Robert just fired up our van air there. And that's a very expensive system. We've got some maintainer tool drawers on the driver's side here inside the boxes. We've got good tires all the way around. We've checked all the lights, brakes, tires on this thing. Basically what gone down a DOT inspection. And I'm gonna let Robert operate that and we'll just go around the truck. Deep tread on the tires, frame undersides, all in nice condition. Very minimal surface rust. We do have some minor dings, dents, and scratches that we didn't take care of just because it's not super bad, but I like to keep the trucks original as we can. Jump up inside here. We do have power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. We've got cruise control. Air conditioning is nice and cold inside here. I don't want to leave. It's 90 something degrees here, uh, but the air is blowing nice. Look at that, 195 idle hours, 74, 62 drive hours. So truck wasn't idling. You don't have to idle this truck with the crane. So that's the benefit to that Van Air system. You keep the hours off your truck and put them on that little diesel engine. AM, FM radio, heat, air conditioning, got some auxiliary switches, obviously factory. Uh, factory everything there, exhaust brake. Seats are in nice condition, floor shows nice, nice black color, and uh, very, very, overall for the miles in good condition, uh, better than expected, I'd say. We'll jump out here. Uh, this is a bench seat, so you can fit three guys in here if you want to. Now all this is gonna come with it. We got your jump starter leads, you've got your welding leads. Look at the hours on that, 470.7 hours on this Aerodark system. So that means you've only got 470 hours on your crane as well, obviously. Aerodark I-300. You got some strobe light, or excuse me, some flood lights, compartment lights, your main power there, make sure that's always on. Now we'll step back here, we've got some maintainer tool drawers. We got one in each box back here. So these are very, very nice drawers. Uh, they open and close as they should. Underneath, we've got some minor surface rust, it's just kind of from stuff sitting on top of it. They open and close really nicely. Inside and out, the truck's in great shape. We've got work lights all the way around this thing. Looking off the back here, we did do some paint work back here where these things kind of get a uh, little banged up, a few scratches. So we went ahead and paint, repainted this rear step bumper and it's showing really nice. You've got your manual controls for your drain and your outrigger. Uh, but it does have a wireless remote, which Robert's showing us there. In between the boxes, I'll jump up here. Between the boxes, too, it's nice. 
So this is a manual, the street side is a, it just goes straight down, the curbside does extend, uh, but it is a manual extension on the street side, or the curbside, uh, but they are hydraulic down. Got some work lights off this side. Truck does everything it's supposed to do. It's all there. We didn't have to do a whole lot to it. The case dealer did a really good job of maintaining this thing. in nice condition open up this box here and gosh this maintainer box i mean the quality of even just the door latches the hinges everything is there it's just a nice nice truck we do have a little bit of bubbling rust in this corner box here where water had kind of got in there and just sat but everything just feels good on this truck it really does Door latches, the doors, they close nice, they close with authority. I mean, this truck's got some use on it, but this box still feels nice. Got your tank box up front here. Now, Robert is on the sticks here. Got our wireless remote. Like I said, the truck is all there. It does what it's supposed to do. Got a 6,500 pound crane. You've got a van air system that does it all. There's not much else you could need than that, than this truck. I mean, it's just a very, very nice truck. It runs good, starts right up. It was maintained and serviced by the same owner. Uh, we bought it directly from them. Cab's in nice condition. It's original. We didn't do any paint work. Got a little blip up here. But it's really hard to fault this truck. Engine sounds good. I mean, it's a Cummins. We've had them with plenty more miles than this one has. But the good thing, like I said about this truck, it's got very low hours. Everything is very low hours. It wasn't sit there idling all the time. Robert just idled up our van air system. You can do that from the remote. So again, a very low use truck. This truck's just getting started. It's a Awesome truck, doesn't have a lot of use on the Van Air system, nor does it on the crane. Utility boxes are in great shape. You've got some maintainer tool drawers. You've got interior light, cabinet lights. You've got it all. It's a great truck, it's fully equipped. It's ready to go to work. Fill it with tools and get right to work. It's been serviced up, checked over. Doesn't get much better than this one, guys. Show you underneath real quick just because i think i forgot to show you that but it's clean very clean truck inside and out it is a 13 so it takes def diesel exhaust fluid it's all still intact so it's going to be compliant should be compliant in all states just to make check to make sure that's correct in your state it's got a 19.5 dvwr Truck's ready to go. You can check it out on our website at lewistrucks.com. It's L E W I S trucks with an S.com. Got this truck, a few other service trucks, grain trucks on there. So if you need something a little bit different, just check out our website and see what we got. But this is a very nice truck. I don't think it's going to last long. So give me a call. We'll get her sold to you. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located in Clarksville, Maryland, which is just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. I can ship this truck throughout the United States. Call me and I'll give you a quote on that. But a very nice maintainer service truck. I don't have to explain what this thing is. It speaks for itself, but check it out. We'll get her sold to you. Thank you guys for watching.